growing up here, was, um, I would say it's pretty traumatic. I mean, because I was a part of a rival gang. 30 year old Philip Chandler grew up on the top floor of this humble park three flat. Coming from a dysfunctional family, the streets was all he knew. The alley across Augusta Boulevard is where Chandler was caught by police with marijuana at just 14 years old. It was about five nickel bags, I believe, at the time. And we were just on our way to the neighborhood to actually sell it, and we got pulled over. 16 years later, Chandler is hoping the drug that ruined lives and neighborhoods will help turn them around when adult use becomes legal in Illinois. With the help of Cresco Labs, Chandler is one of 130 people who plan to apply for a dispensary license as a social equity applicant. The intent is to make sure that the preparation is there and that the resources are there to make sure it's viable. Chicago-based Cresco Labs is one of the largest cannabis operators in the U.S. Its new incubator program not only helps minority applicants apply for one of 75 dispensary licenses available in Illinois, it will also give groups seed money to start their businesses. By law, Cresco can only own 10 percent. The win for us is that we've got sustainable, viable operations that get stood up in this state, again, which makes our marketplace bigger. The applications for the 75 dispensary licenses are due on January 2nd. The state of Illinois has until May 1st to make its decision on who gets those licenses. If Chandler is lucky to win one, he says not only will he give job opportunities to people in neighborhoods like the one he grew up in, but he plans to use the cannabis revenue to give back. You ruin my community, so I'm morally obligated to use the benefits of cannabis to change my community. On the West Side, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.